Since the year 2000, the Makun Lake Plateau has been part of the Swiss National Park in eastern Switzerland, and as such, should enjoy the highest level of protection. It was here earlier this year that Greenpeace researchers took snow and water samples. They were analyzed for per- and polyfluorinated chemicals, also known as PFCs. The results, published at the beginning of September, were alarming. In Engadin, we found PFCs. These are dangerous chemicals used by the outdoor industry to waterproof their goods, garments like jackets and trousers. PFCs are extremely durable. Once they enter the environment, they take a long time to break down and eventually spread to the atmosphere. The Greenpeace study concerns not only Switzerland. Research was conducted at 10 sites around the world. PFCs were found in all of the snow samples. According to Greenpeace, the outdoor industry deserves much of the blame since PFCs are extensively used in the manufacture of winter sport clothing. PFCs' ability to repel water, dirt and oil make them ideal for these garments. But when these protective layers break down, they pass into the air and water. Testex is a Zurich-based textile testing company. The problems related to PFCs are well known here, but it's not easy for the outdoor industry to do without PFCs. I recommend that all textile manufacturers use alternatives to perfluorinated chemicals whenever possible. But when high performance and durability are an issue, only PFCs are good enough. At the moment, there are no alternatives that are as good as PFCs. Mammut is Switzerland's largest producer of outdoor clothing. The company refused to present its position in front of the cameras of Swiss Public Television, SRF. It said it needed more information on the Greenpeace study before it could provide a response. However, Mammut did say it was currently looking at alternatives to PFCs. How have the Swiss National Park authorities reacted to the Greenpeace study and the presence of PFCs in the Makun Lakes? What stands out is that there is a higher concentration of PFCs in the water than in the snow. That means that those pollutants accumulate in nature at a rate higher than that at which they degrade. The alarming fact is that with time, we will see more of this accumulation. The National Park, for the time being, will not take action on the Makun Lakes, as the PFC concentration is limited to a relatively small area. But as the Greenpeace study has shown, the pollutants won't stop at the park's borders.